And welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. Last time we cleared out the Pendrana Drifts area, and now we are finally able to explore the magma pool and what lies beyond it. Now this wall is very suspicious right off the bat, so I'm gonna power bomb it of course. See what lies behind it. And behind it is um more lore. Uh about artifacts it looks like. And a power bomb expansion. So, um I think that's the last one. So that's cool. Um now we can actually go through here. This is a place called the Cha Training Chamber Axis. Now, there is actually something hidden here as well. Um, well, at least there should be. Uh, I think it's supposed to be around here from what I gather. Let's actually switch to the X-ray visor, see if we can figure out where what we're looking for here. Um, let us see. Maybe we don't need it. Oh. Hmm, can I just roll through here? We can. So, through here is another missile expansion. Uh, and thus on our way to the training chamber itself. So, here we have a big half pipe room and ghosts. So, we have the expert visor, so this. Makes these guys a joke. Can they only be hurt by the plasma beam? It looks like it. Or maybe the power beam. Because I'm trying to hit these guys and nothing's actually working. Huh. Um. There we go. Yeah, apparently, apparently they're only vul uh, vulnerable to the power beam itself. So, that's interesting to note. Um. I don't know how many shots shots these guys take. It seems like it's roughly three, uh, charge beams, but it may be a little bit more or less because of the fact that I'm having to shoot them in the process. Also, there's an energy tank clearly there. So those things break. If you like to switches, obviously we need to hit both switches. I'm assuming, I don't know this for a fact, but I just have this gut feeling this is going to be timed. Um, based on Metroid logic. Hmm. Yep, this is timed. Well, better hurry. Wow, that was not a generous time limit at all. But hey, we made it. So go through here. Is this where the? Yeah, this is it. Uh, this is number thirteen, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. N wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there should be one more left, and I know exactly where it is. It's in the Hall of Elders, which we'll have to go to at some point. Um. Now, I'm curious, since that's the uh, energy tank, what's this other thing for? Oh, I guess just revealing the exit? I guess. I have no clue. Now, there's also something else we can get in the main plaza from this route, so that's why I'm not, like, cutting here. Um, piston tunnel. Wow, this one's kind of slow. Uh, speed this up. <laughs> Roll. I don't remember what was in the main plaza. If it was a missile, I think it might have been a missile. Because I think we have all the power bombs. And I think there's only one energy tank, but that one's easy to come by. So yeah, I think we're pretty much set uh, in terms of collectibles. Uh, for the most part. And voila, we have another missile expansion. So, I'm not entirely sure where the next thing is, so I'm just gonna, uh, meet you back when I find it. So, yeah. Be back in a moment. Back in the Tower of Light, which we haven't been in for quite some time. Last time we were here, we got the, uh, what was it, the Wave Buster or something? Uh, that sounds like a Mega Man weapon, so I might be getting that wrong. Uh, but last time we came in here, we couldn't get up this ledge because we didn't have the gravity suit. Now we can freely access this and get the 11th, uh, Chozo Artifact. Uh, 
This is the artifact of Life Giver, the fifth of twelve. Yes, there's only one more left, and oh, wow, only 15% left for collectibles. So yes, uh, the next thing I think is kind of somewhere like in this area, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll double check, I'm basically going down a checklist essentially, uh, to make sure I don't miss too much. Um, so yeah, I'll just basically go down the list and reach back when I find a missile tank we haven't gotten yet. On the way over to another destination, I almost completely forgot about this particular missile tank, missile expansion. Uh, basically, you have this section of the tree that's like kind of round. It actually deflects power beam shots. So if you hit with a super missile, you will basically destroy a, a spot of the tree, and then you can actually see a a, a missile inside of it. Um, I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to get inside that. But, uh, oh, like that, apparently. But yeah, I almost walked right by that, so just picking that up now before I forget. So there are two more missile tanks, and, or missile expansions. I don't know why I keep saying missile tanks. Probably because energy tanks, but in any case, uh, there are two more in pretty close proximity. One is in the gathering hall, which is right here. Um, the next one is actually in the... Uh, watery Hall, which is right next to the Gathering Hall. Uh, just drop down here. And, um... We are at 200, so that means there are 10 more Missile Tanks to go, and one more Energy Tank, in addition to one more Artifact, so we are almost there. Uh, 87%. So if you go over to this side of the area, there's a part that's a lot deeper, and you can actually find a tunnel here that uh, contains another missile expansion. So in the furnace, there's actually a room we've never been through. But before we actually do that, we can actually put a power bomb down. And if I put it in the right spot, yes, it reveals a half pipe. So this is how we're supposed to get up to the spiral track up here. Um, it's kind of a weird little obstacle course. Um, you have to watch out for the little things going along the rail, basically, and just sort of move accordingly. But yeah, it's kind of a neat little puzzle. This makes me nervous, because of rolling uh, without any sort of railing. Which is actually not the easiest thing to say. But it's just kind of intense, actually trying to roll along when you don't really... I can barely see my shadow, so I might fall off. Yep. <laughs> I'm not surprised. The lack of a shadow there was really weird. I don't know why there wasn't a shadow. I think there should have been, based on, you know, the laws of physics, but uh, for some reason I couldn't see a drop shadow. Um, which is a problem in a, a platforming se section, not being able to see your shadow. Uh, especially when you're on like an isometric viewpoint like this. So yeah, I'm not really crazy about this particular part, just because it is difficult to actually see where you're even landing. Oh man, that's so faint. I think right by here. There we go. We got two little things to avoid. And we get the missile in this room. No, now I think that's the only one in this particular room. Uh, so we can freely move on to this other room, which we've actually never been to. Or does it just connect? Okay, this just connects to the Hall of Elders. Uh, so that works. Um, now... Uh, I'm trying to think. I think we're fine, other than... Uh, one... Actually, I think I might have missed one. Or did I? No, I didn't miss any, I don't think. Um... I was trying to think about in the dynamo room that there are two, but I think we got both. Uh, but in any case, yeah, this is just a shortcut to the Hall of Elders, but our next stop is the crossway. I actually already had the missile tank from the crossway, so we are actually in the Hall of Elders now. So last time we were in here, we could only do, uh, or only interact with the Chozer statue with the plasma beam. So now we have to try the other two. Now that we have the ice beam and the 
uh, plasma beam, or the wave beam was the one we already had. Now, I also did some math, um, and we are actually one missile tank short, if my math was right. So, if you have time at the end of this video, I'll have to double check the timer. Uh, we will, uh, try to figure out where that last, or where the missing ones were. Basically, meaning I am going to manually comb through the entire game again, uh, to figure out which one I'm actually missing. Starting with this area, then moving on to like Mag, more caverns, town overworld, etc., etc., until I can actually figure out which missile tank I'm forgetting. Uh, because I think I got two, a minimum of two in the phase on mines, so that means I'm missing one because I did the math and we'd only have, if I am only missing two there, I would only have 245. So, uh, in the meantime, we are just going to solve this puzzle. So this actually causes the statue to move out that way, instead of needing the to be interacted with, uh, which is a little bit different. I also find it weird that you need both plasma and ice beams. It's like, why? But in any case, this is the last artifact. The... The Artifact of World, the 10th of 12. So now we have all of them. So now we can actually get into the impact crater if we so desire, but yeah, I'm going to try and figure out where all the remaining power-ups are, and I don't know if this is actually the end of the video, uh, based on how much time there is. I haven't really been keeping track of our time, but uh, yeah, there should only be a couple more things to collect. Uh, eight more missiles is all that's left. So I figured out where the last missing item was. It's actually in the ruined gallery. Uh, this wall is weak to brimstone, which is actually more... Uh, uh, more? Was that, is that regular bomb? I guess not. I guess that's missile. Oh well. Well, we found it at least. Now I think that means we should be on track to enter the phase on mines now. So I think we're gonna end off here, assuming there's still time left at the end of this video. If not, this will be actually the beginning of the next video, which will be really awkward. But in any case, uh, yeah, off to the phase on mines.